Hey, Leo Dreger here. I want to talk about the profession of analyzing viruses or malicious code in general. Um, if you could write all of this stuff out by hand, I would consider you a programmer. If you use a tool like Delmi's Batch uh, Virus Maker, I would consider you a script kitty because what this tool does, uh, it, it just generates code for you. It's just that simple. So we're going to click on a bunch of buttons, generate a virus, um, analyze the virus, and then uh, discuss some best practices. So stick with me. All right. So the first thing you have here is the box over here. This is basically where you'll see the code. This is ultimately what's going to get saved into an executable or batch file. Those options are right down here. Uh, save as batch file or save at text. Okay. You've got the infection, the payload, and other options. And all this we're going to cover. So infect registry run key. You can see here that basically you just click on a button and it generates the code over here. All right, so this is ultimately what you can get to execute in any sort of file or whatever you actually choose to infect. So we're just going to click on a, bu a bunch of buttons here and just see this get generated. Okay, and I'm really just going to start clicking buttons here. Okay, uh, just for the sake of analysis. Now I want you to think about what I'm doing here versus what you would have to figure out on your own. Okay, you would have to determine ultimately what is my motivation? How? What's the exact attack, attack vector? What am I trying to do or accomplish on the on the system? Maybe I'm just targeting MP4s or something like that, or maybe PDFs specifically, uh, or XML is very popular, or pictures. Okay. So you have to ultimately find this needle in a stack of needles. These are the clues that I would leave you in your analysis. Okay, so think of it that way. So we click a bunch of stuff in the infection. I hope you had a second to kind of look over the screen. Um, let's go over to payload. Okay, echo off, swap mouse buttons. Okay, again, I'm just going to start clicking and we'll analyze this later on as soon as it's all generated. Uh, and this would be considered a pretty nasty virus, considering uh, the <laughs> crash the computer, delete the my documents, delete my music, delete my pictures, delete the XML, the PNG, all files, hide, uh, send net spam, uh, spam the printers, uh, swap the mouse buttons, uh, delete Notepad, calculator access, explore Excel, Paint, Word, Outlook, Safari. Okay. Um, and the other options, you know, clear the screen, self-destruct, hide the command window, cancel that. Don't want it to click that button. Uh, disable the admin, disable the mouse. Okay. Uh, we're going to compare all of the code in the window up on the upper left in a second. I uh, just want to get you the idea here. Now, uh, in the grand scheme of things, um, this virus that I'm about to create ultimately would get detected in a heartbeat by nearly every antivirus vendor out there. Okay, so now I've selected just about every option in this program and give you a little highlight. So it's the virus name, the author, if you want it to be it. So we're just going to do test and test um, and then save as batch file and save as text. So we're going to save it as a, a text and we're going to save it right here to the desktop. Okay, now you just edit it with your favorite editing program, whatever it is, and you get to actually see it. So here is the script kitty equivalent. Right now, we know all of this code is generated. Okay, you can basically see. So, you know, here's your swap mouse buttons. Here's the change user password, uh, and actually what the password is. Uh, echo a bunch of random stuff here. Okay, most of this is VB script. Um, <laughs> here's the here's the spam the printer. <laughs> You could change this if you wanted to. You, you know, you don't have to uh, spam. You can just change it to all, like, for example, in the classic movies, this is where it says, you know, you've been hacked. Okay. Uh, uh, but now you know how they did that, right? Now the net send messages, the net uh, generating traffic, that's just using networking commands of the operating system. Um, remove active blue screen of death, basically trying to delete everything in the drivers until it finds a driver that crashes the, the kernel and boom, there you go. Here's all the deleting the, uh, you know, 
uh, he actually is setting the hidden attributes. Uh, this is interesting. So hide music, video, and pictures, right? They actually do this with the attrib command um, because they're basically just setting the value of the actual file or folder uh, just to hidden. And so they're just changing attributes instead of – I would have just deleted them. Um, <laughs> Uh, all the other, you know, delete all the exe, delete star.exe, uh, and send all of the output to uh, the file list.exe. So it leaves, it's leaving cookies of itself. Okay. That would be important for you in the analysis. Okay. Because if I, if you found that file, fi, you know, le list.exe, that basically tells you exactly kind of how to undo it or how to try to undo it. Now, the, the, Hopefully, the net result uh, out of attack like this is basically you, you, you know if you're in a large enterprise environment, you're going to have to uh, Im image the, the machine that was attacked, um, send that off to forensics or the incident response team, and you just get the system back up and running with a replacement computer. Make sure that anything in the user home folders don't have anything you know malicious. You're not copying viruses right back to the the PC, um, and then you know get the user set back up and you know get it back to work. Okay. Um, then you have code like this, right? Here's a, a bunch of echo. So you're just echoing uh, again. Uh, everything gets appended to a file. So a cookie, basically a breadcrumb or cookie is left for the analyst. Um, you know, IP config release, basically disconnecting from the network. Okay. Not too bad. You should get the idea at this. It's killing a bunch of tasks. Okay. You, you should get the idea at this point. Um, uh, you know, in terms of the analysis. Um, and of course, let's talk about Black Hat, White Hat, you know, Script Kitty for a second. Notice at the very, very end, virus author. Uh, you would would not, <laughs> would you or would you not be surprised to know that actually most people filled this field in for whatever reason. Um, I've un personally uncovered, you know, several instances where I'm just like, the the attacker, the script kitty, basically left their calling card by a simple uh, fact like this. And then it's off to the internet to see what you can enumerate about, you know, who the source actually is. Okay. So that's it uh, in the grand scheme of things for analyzing viruses, uh, particularly with a, a batch program, basically for batch files or text files. But it's enough to get you the basis and the foundation of how to take apart the, the profession of analyzing malware, right? Always looking at the offense versus the defense. So a couple more videos coming up here. You're going to want to look at these in terms of a set uh, just because you're going to get, get the idea. I'm leading you down the path of uh, the, you know, basically what it takes to, you know, make it or break it in the field of malware analysis. So, uh, stay tuned. I'll see you in the next video. My name's Leo Drager. Uh, you know, I'm sure you're connected by now. Uh, and thank you for, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Twitter.